Today, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife biologists have teamed up with University of Washington graduate student Casey Clark to tag coastal cutthroat trout in the Sammamish River. Though the Sammamish River flows through the urban landscape of Redmond and Bothell and provides little spawning habitat for trout, this is an important migration corridor connecting trout and salmon to important tributaries where spawning does occur. Most people commuting to work on the 405 would likely be surprised to learn what is swimming beneath the roadways. So let's take a look at a few fish using boat electrofishing, a method that only temporarily stuns the fish, allowing researchers like Casey to work with them briefly and release them unharmed. So my name is Casey Clark and I'm a master's student at the University of Washington. I'm out here today with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and we're catching cutthroat trout. We're going to be tagging these cutthroat trout and releasing them back into the water. Um, we're catching them now as they're on their way up to spawn and migrate in some of the tributaries of Lake Washington. And when they migrate back down into the lake, we'll recapture them in an effort to try to get a total population of the cutthroat trout in Lake Washington. You can see the tag in the center of the fish here. It's that brown floy tag. In addition to the tag, I measure each fish, and give them a small clip on the caudal or tail fin here, which you can see on the back lower edge of the caudal fin. And then release them back in the water and let them go up and spawn.